Because I'm trying to deal less with distractions. Uh, hi, Andrew. Boom. Start that timer. Oh, yeah. Boom. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a speed run here. Yeah, we got to get this in. That's mm -hmm. good. We just, you keep working on stuff. You do stuff to work on stuff, and that's good. Exactly. We just uh, keep on, on working. We always find a time. So this this week, uh, we were planning to meet on Monday. Couldn't meet on Monday. Planned to meet on Tuesday. Couldn't meet on Tuesday. Planned to meet on Wednesday. Couldn't meet on Wednesday. And now it's Thursday. We're meeting, man. We're doing it. Yeah, we did it. We did <laughs> it. And now we have to figure out a thing to talk about for the next 14 minutes and 30 seconds, you which is it. a challenge uh, sometimes. It, it's never a challenge. Yeah. It, uh we, well, we, we always find is, a way there is stuff that like i want to i want to talk about yeah it's something it so i did a comedy show it was lovely uh okay. it was at a diner mm -hmm. and i don't want to say names but there was a, a guy that we there was a, there was a thing in comedy that happened right okay um uh, with the snl stuff which is fine um and we were talking about it because we he's he was from philly he is from philly he's not dead he, he's fine he's, yeah. he's just on us and he was fired and then and someone out loud said oh this is going to do super bowl numbers and i need everyone to calm down a little bit and realize that a world exists outside of your bubble and that's mm -hmm. your art bubble and your world bubble mm -hmm. and sometimes things that are very important to you, you have to realize aren't that important to other people. <laughs> yeah, and, I find that I feel like I find that out every day. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good thing to like kind of to yeah. like th it's okay that you got things that are important in your group. And it's okay that there are important things in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's okay that there are important things to your art. But like you have to put yourself, in my opinion, and realize that, like, not everybody knows who Picasso is. <laughs> so not everybody's going to know who your guy is. So, like, so most people know who Picasso is. And Picasso is one of the greatest visual artists of all time. And there are people who don't know who Picasso is mm -hmm. or can't point out, or know maybe they know the name, but they can't point out one painting he made. And while people are great and we love that for them and we think it's awesome for them, I think sometimes it's good to remember this is smaller than you know. Things are smaller than you think. And on a timeline of things, it's pretty little. So, mm -hmm. and, and don't ever, ever out loud say, I think this is going to do Super Bowl numbers. Because unless it's FIFA, this is not. This is never. <laughs> it's not going. It's not going to stop saying that. It's stupid. It's a mm -hmm. stupid sentence that you just said, and like, compare it to something else too. Go. I think this is one of the biggest shows for them in a long time. Now you've said a word that makes sense. Uh, this is a. This is a show that will redefine <laughs> what we do. Yes, I may. Perhaps it might more bold, but mm -hmm. I could see that argument. This is going to do Super Bowl numbers. No, it's probably not. Like, <laughs> calm down. This is not, yeah. like, realize that what you do is important and the art you make is important, but it is not the most important art in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, was it was it this guy who said that, or was it, was it a fan who said that? It was, or... a guy, it was another comedian. So it was okay, another yeah. comedian. So maybe he's a fan, but he is in the art. So I feel okay, more, in, the, in, in the community. No, world. He's, yeah. he's doing magic tricks. He's doing the magic tricks too. So even yeah. though you know, you you know the magic tricks, so chill out a little bit. Right. Also, since we've <laughs> talked about um that's just something I want to say. I think it's an important statement. And mm -hmm. uh do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, well, no, I th I think it is kind of a cool point that you're making because it's um we do tend to like get in our in our own world and think that things are a lot more important to the, the things that are important to us, you know, seem a lot bigger than they are to maybe that, but that, that can happen like outside of the arts as too as, as well. But um, of course, since we're both artists and like, that's kind of the main 
they focus what we talk about, then it makes sense to talk about it in that context. Um, but, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that happens kind of every day. And I, I was only half joking when I said like, I've, I've, I, I, I think I, I discover that every day, you know, because it's like, what, you know, this, this person I'm talking to doesn't, has no idea, you know, uh, <laughs> about this book that I'm reading or about this, you know, band that I'm listening to. And it's like, wait, how is that possible? It's like, oh yeah, wait, you're, you're, you know, and that's okay. you're, you're and in that's, a bubble. So. It doesn't, and, I'm, and it's one of those things like people don't care. That's not what I'm saying is I'm saying like, have a little bit like every, you know, you know, the thing that people do and it's like oh man every person you walk around is the main character of their own story and like it's become a bit of a cliche but mm-hmm. also yeah that's a good point like everyone isn't worried about all the stuff you're worried about all the time and that's yeah. okay and don't and especially like when it comes to art stuff don't think you're doing super bowl numbers don't try to do super bowl mm-hmm. numbers make work you know chill chill out a little bit is what i'm trying to say yeah well, I guess I guess the other part of that is that there is a, I I feel like more and more we're becoming in this culture of sort of hy- hyperbole, you know, mm-hmm. um, where that kind of exaggeration, like like maybe they did or didn't actually think it would be a Super Bowl numbers, you know, but you know we're in this world where that kind of exaggeration is uh, welcomed, I guess. It's an um, acceptable thing to say. Yeah, and it exactly. drives me batty, like. Like yeah say say real words and try to try to try to you know try to show yeah. up on time and always keep your work yeah yeah and i mean I, and i think there is a certain amount of levity you know that you, you probably want to keep even when you're saying those kind of phrases um but i mean I, like again like i don't know the person you're talking about so maybe they actually did believe you know that it would be... they, they said it very <laughs> like it was it was yeah. this, like, this is going to be a, a monumental moment mm-hmm. a game changer let us all take a moment to realize how much things are di- today yeah. is the day before and tomorrow will be the day after <laughs> everything's, and that everything's is the only way be different. we will think of this yeah okay like, so because so it was a very uh calm down yeah. okay um not you you can go nuts yeah yeah and i and and i think maybe what's can be good about those situations is like you know when the next day comes and not that much has changed, you know, then, then there can be a certain self-reflection period, you know, with that, I think. Um, I mean, I, and I know that that sort of happens. And again, I don't know the person, but I know with me, I mean, oftentimes that does happen, you know, whether it's this kind of context we're talking about or something else. Sorry. I yeah. think self-reflection is such a powerful mm-hmm. thing to have. Yeah. And it's so easy to pretty much completely ignore. Uh, it's <laughs> yes. an easy thing mm-hmm. to completely... And like it almost, and I'm not, this sounds mean, I think life might be easier if you never self-reflect, if you never look inside. That Well, that's, I think, a very accurate statement, I think. Yeah. Might be a good move. <laughs> Here's an idea. Only talk in hyperbole when you are always wrong, <laughs> never self-reflect. And yeah. like... You're gonna live pretty excitedly. Never, yeah. never look inside. Never, never think of the things you said and how to change and grow. Growth hurts, and you want to avoid pain at all real costs. So I don't think you ever want to self-reflect in any real way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe you want the illusion of self-reflection, but never actually self-reflect. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the did you, have you been following the Willy Wonka AI stuff? <laughs> I have not. This is another another aspect. You know that. Uh... <laughs> Bigger than the it's Super Bowl. Big, big as Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, do do you, do you know nothing about it? I I literally don't know. Dude, it's so good. Okay. It's bigger than the Super Bowl. Okay. So, so gonna, we're I'm talking sure, Super Bowl. Check now. it out. <laughs> so, dude, said no. Here's what happened. I, I didn't, this podcast. Big. Hey, this episode. This is Super Bowl numbers podcast. Super Bowl here. numbers, man. <laughs> we're, we're we're talking Super Bowl numbers. We are talking. <laughs> Super Bowl. This is this is numbers. a game. This is a game changer for our podcast. This is here. a game changer. We'll <laughs> speak of this in two terms: the day before this podcast release and the day after this. Podcast. We are. Our lives will never be the same. I mean, we uh, not are, only it's not so much our first. lives that are the question. We knew that was going to change. It's yeah. the fact that everyone else's lives are going to change. Exactly. Mostly, and this is unfortunate for the worst. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing is, we're just going to put more people to sleep. That's the. That's yeah, the yeah, thing. no. 
but uh, no, I want to. Uh, you can't be put to sleep by this. You're already dead. <laughs> yes. Um, we are okay. We more are, more people are not going to be woken up. <laughs> yeah, we are a middle. We are a we, you, you. This this podcast is a middle of the marathon. Yeah, are you still? Uh, this this podcast has had statistically speaking the little box where it says are you still watching <laughs> all over top of it more than anything i mean we're talking this, super bowl numbers exactly this is get us record get us record for us <laughs> um, no dude okay so this is just just small talk i just love yeah. it because we do talk about ai and this is yeah. absolute misuse of ai so they sold i'm gonna pull pull some up here keep, keep talking okay so they pull the so it's ai willy wonka mm. and they use just a bunch of ai images up to including i think of them unloading the truck of stuff to sell tickets to this Willy Wonka thing. They got actors and they all these people went to it and it was just an empty warehouse. <laughs> and it had okay. like three actors. One, people are calling mm. uh, Meth Lab Oompa Loompa because she was just so miserable doing it. <laughs> okay. The second one was a man in a gray hood that jumped out uh, <laughs> <laughs> behind a mirror to startle the children. Okay, wait, wait, and was this all done on purpose or is this just like bad or is it? I think it was, a, it was, it, so the thing, the thing is, uh, anyone who has watched, well, let me do the last one. The last one was Willy Wonka, but he had a 15 page script that was all written with AI gibberish, which <laughs> okay. I love, um, yeah. which I, I would pay so much money to see that script. <laughs> um, here's the thing. So, okay yeah i, I gotta know more about this but, but have you yeah, watched the me. fire festival documentary oh yeah yes yeah, yeah like both of them yeah uh i i i've seen one of them i don't okay. know if i like the other the the other one the the one that doesn't have the i i i was ready i fully walked into that room ready to suck dick for water is the better of the two the one that okay. doesn't have that scene now the other one has that scene so yeah. big plus but right <laughs> um i always watch this differently and i think both of us in working in art so much of like pulling off shows is lying through your teeth <laughs> until you're there and then you're like until it like figures it out until mm -hmm. you're like oh we got the thing like you say you got the thing you you have the skill set or the whatever until you finally have the skill set and then it it all you're like oh we have it but so often mm -hmm. you are faking it until the moment of and then you're like yeah we figured it out or we got away with it that's true while so, the phrase the show must go on is a thing that people say the phrase is not the show must be good or there's like <laughs> the show must go on can get you into so much trouble because at some point you need to go we made all of this with ai we need to pump the brakes oh my right. god like so so just i just want to make sure so like their uh, their advertising essentially consisted of all ai stuff Yes. And then they sold tickets. And then when people got, actually got there, then it was just empty and like uh, fire festival stuff. Yeah. Yes. It was fire okay. festival level of empty. Okay. All the, the, and they might have used AI to make it look like they were unloading the van. Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, <laughs> so it that's even worse. <laughs> it might have got worse. And also, every child got lemonade. <laughs> and most children, until they ran out, and okay. most children got. This is my favorite thing. Ace, they're going to a Willy Wonka themed thing. Mm -hmm. And the children got, a, each child got a single jelly bean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor thing. One of my favorite. I, That's like, this. And like, if, if there was other stuff, I could see being like, now this one jelly bean is especially, the, the shtick <laughs> is, I assume, that they yeah. do a whole bunch of stuff. And then they go, this jelly bean was made specifically right. for you. It tastes everything that you would like. And that's okay. this this thing. But when there's nothing else there, <laughs> I'm going to hyper-focus on the single jelly bean. Exactly. <laughs> uh, also, that's that's the other big... The thing that's going to pull in Super Bowl numbers is mm. the phrase. When there's nothing else there, I'm going to hyper-focus on the single jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't like, know if this... I like I don't it. Think I like it. Is, necessarily important um in any artistic statement but i do think it is one of my favorite stories in a while and sometimes <laughs> when the world is as scary as it is which is pretty gosh darn scary and bad as it is yeah. you have to focus on one of the funnier bad things i 
Yes, I, I totally agree. And and honestly, just hearing about this, this has been uh, a, this has been a very welcome coffee break, you know, during the day. It, uh, this is a lovely little coffee break. I think yeah. I'm, I'm, sometimes I think we could say that the coffee break is just uh, for us to discuss uh, a thing that has happened yeah. in the larger entertainment and art world. And technically, <laughs> AI, <laughs> Willy <laughs> Walk the Fiasco is one of them. Exactly. Yanko out. Yanko out.